Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel, and I know what you're thinking. Why does she look that way? So I'm currently in the middle of filming a different video, but I wanted to sit down and test out a few different e.l.f. products that came in the mail. I have this, which is their like thank you kit. I don't even know. I didn't pay for this. It was just in my box and I was like, oh, okay. So I figured I'd test it out. I have the Moonlight Pearls Baked Highlighter in here, which I already have, which I'm not a huge fan of. It has like this film on top that you have to scrape off for it to actually work. I don't know. It's just a thing. And then they gave me the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set in the shade Clear. Then they gave me the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner in the shade Black is Black. And the other two products that I intentionally purchased was the Modern Metals Blush and Highlight Palette. I saw this and I really, really wanted to test it out. It looked super pretty online. And then I bought the e.l.f. It says new on it. So I think this is new. This is the e.l.f. brow pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. I really wanted to test it out because it does have a spoolie on the end and then it also is a pencil. So I wanted to test this out. Before you jump into the video, be sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. First, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set just to start priming my skin. It says, it prevents colors from running or fading to help keep your makeup stay in place. It has aloe, green tea, cucumber, vitamin A, C, and E. It says after you have applied your makeup or use, oh, I have to use this after I apply my makeup. Okay, well then I won't do that then. I'm gonna go ahead and prime like normal using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm basically gonna do the parts of my makeup and just speed them up that are not using these e.l.f. products. I'm gonna go in with this Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. Taking this Jouer Cosmetics High Coverage Liquid Concealer. And I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me Powder to set my face. So now's the time that I'm gonna apply some bronzer. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. Now I'm gonna move on to this e.l.f. blush and highlighting palette from the Modern Metals collection. This was $12 online, and it says that it has three blushes and three highlighters to mix, match, and blend for a custom flush and glow throughout the year. It says it's perfectly pigmented, infused with primer powder to stay all day. Hmm, that's interesting. The highlighting powder has microfine shimmer to blur lines and create a soft focus glow. Yes, I am all about that. So let's open this up. I can never open these. Oh God, I always end up breaking the packaging. Here's what the actual palette looks like. Super pretty, it is plastic, but I like that you can see through it. All right, here are the blush and highlighters. I probably would not use this. I would probably use this as a blush topper. And then here are the three blushes. So let's go ahead and take I think this blush is calling my name more so than the other one, so I'm gonna take this one. It doesn't have a name, it's just the middle one. I'm gonna take a little on my brush, tap it off. Whoa, it's pigmented. Ooh, that's so pretty. <gasps> that is a lot of blush, but it is so pretty. I'm gonna take my powder brush just to tone that down a little bit. I'm gonna take the center highlight and mix it maybe with this one. I, yeah, I'm gonna mix the two. So I'm just going back and forth. I definitely think you can have a heavy hand with this highlight because it is, you know, kind of subtle at first, but you can kind of build it up. That's what the two mixed together look like. It's a really pretty shade. The two shades that I would not use in this palette are this one, unless it's to do a blush topper, and this one, because this is just, it's like orange. I don't use orange blushes. Those shades that I used are really nice. Let's swatch just the individual ones. Let's see, here's the first highlight. So that's the first highlight. That's the second highlight. It's not as pigmented as the first one. And let's do this orangey one. Whoa, that comes off completely different on your hand. Look at that, that third one down is the orange one right here. That's not too bad. And then I'm gonna swatch the blushes as well. Those are the blushes on my hand right there. That's the orange one. 
I would wear that. I see it being toned down pretty easily. This is the one that I have on and then that's the other one. They're all gorgeous. So this instant lift brow pencil is $2. I have the shade neutral brown and it says that it has a fine tip liner. Yeah, it's just supposed to give a defined looking brow with a flawless arch. So let's go ahead, open it up, see how it works. Here is what the brow product looks like. Oh, it's actually a decent spoolie, guys. Whoa. Here's what the product looks like. It's very, very fine. I really don't know how pigmented it is. It seems very creamy. It's kind of nice to use a pencil. I've been using that brow pomade for so long. I think this is a perfect shade. I'm glad I didn't go one down from this to like the dark brown shade. That's what the first brow looks like. It looks really nice. This is super easy to work with. I really like my brows. I do think that they look a little bit more like PC than they did with the brow pomade from Anastasia, but I think that's just the nature of working with a pencil instead. Very nice. I really, really like this product a lot. I'm not even going to bother using this Moonlight Pearls thing because that's not, no. All that's left to do is the Makeup Mist and Set and this Intense Black Eyeliner. Let's use the eyeliner first. I'm just going to add a small line to my lid. I'm not really going to go crazy. I just kind of want to see if it's any good. Not going to do anything crazy. Oh god, it's huge. Whoa, look at this. Wow, that is a very long tip. Is this, this looks like a marker. Is this going to work? I'm kind of scared to use it, to be honest with you. I don't know if I'd use this. I really use like the edge of the eyeliner more than the side. Maybe I'll try and use it on the side. I don't like this product. This is a no-go for me. I'm going to switch to a different liquid liner. I'm use the Physician's Formula one. This one's just amazing and I love this tip much more than that e.l.f. one. Yeah, that eyeliner is going to be a pass for me. The tip is just way too large for me. That's what she said. I don't know. Now we're going to use this makeup mist in set. I will update you in the description down below like what I thought of this product if it actually did anything. Let's see. Oh, that's actually not too bad of a mist. Let's try it. It definitely has larger water droplets than I'm used to. <coughs> Oh my god, don't breathe it in. <laughs> what is in this? Oh, whatever you do, don't breathe. That might be a pass. I cannot even breathe in this area anymore. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this try-on video with me using some different e.l.f. products. I don't really use e.l.f. a lot on my channel, so I wanted to sit down and actually give it a go. I really, really love this palette right here, and I really like the eyebrow pencil that I use, so I'm definitely gonna continue using both of those, but if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!